Hello, my name is Luke McGowan, and I am going to find McCracken. Wait, 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 wait. What are you Googling? No, 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 please just give me a second. Let me explain. So, who is McCracken? Well, McCracken is the man featured in the song Dear McCracken by Bug Hunter, which is playing right now in the background. In the song, singer Bug is recounting his experience of a plane ride delay where he's able to sight read an email of a woman writing to a friend, who is our dear McCracken. In this email, she confesses her love for him, but isn't sure how to write this to confession. She writes, then deletes, then writes only to delete again. She never actually sends the email, keeping her true feelings to herself, meaning that McCracken might never know how much she loves him. So, that's where I come in. I'm going to find McCracken. So, I was doing some thinking about what my next step should be, and then I realized I didn't even ask the creator of the song if making a documentary of his work would be okay. So, you know, as one does, I looked up on Google to see if he had a contact page that I could email. And sure enough, he actually had a contact page. So, naturally, I sent him an email. So, truthfully, I didn't think anything was going to come out of that email. But I was checking my inbox the next couple days, and I saw I had a message from Bug Hunter himself. In the email, he gave me full permission to use his song, as well as some more information about McCracken himself. He was also super excited about the project as a whole and wanted to see it when it was finished. So now that I had Bug Hunter's permission, I just decided to start doing my research. To do this research, I was using a website called whitepages.com, which is an online directory. And to use whitepages.com, you simply have to put in a last name and a location into the search bar. And so for my case, I was using the last name McCracken and the location of Houston. And once you had results, a phone number came up, and that was the phone numbers that I began writing down. My research wasn't just limited to a computer, though, because I had to find out if this was actually legal to do. I looked and looked everywhere for any kind of information, and I found out that it is legal under some circumstances, in that I'm not publicly releasing this information and I'm just using it for private research. So after I did all my research into the legality, all the phone numbers and names, I had to actually start calling people and asking if they were the McCracken from the song. So I got out my phone, I got out my list of numbers, and I just started calling. I'll give you your dear McCracken. I'm keeping this on my chest. I said a lot of things, but none of them what I meant. Do I pretend? Do I try to forget? I'm jet lagging McCracken, and I wish you, I wish you the best. That dream of finding McCracken seemed to get further and further away from me with every passing phone call. Yet, I persisted calling every single McCracken on my list, and I was going to keep doing that until there was no more McCrackens. With every passing phone call, however, that list grew smaller and smaller, as well as having more and more angry McCrackens on the other side of the phone. And then, against all odds, it happened. Or so I thought. In my entire process of calling McCrackens, I called 56 different phone numbers from the entire state of Texas and the entire state of Washington. And out of those 56, only 15 answered immediately and only 8 got back after my voicemails. And I really thought I had it. Someone called back after I left a voicemail saying they're going to ask a friend. They gave me a detailed voice message and yet when I called them back they did not answer and they have not responded. It has been a week and a half since that response, but I'm not discouraged. I still think I can find McCracken and I think that I'll find him out there one day because he still exists. So I apologize for the bait and switch, but I promise that if I do find McCracken, I'll let you know. Thank you.